Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use the cells property in Excel macros. And if you'd like to get this workbook or the macro you see here, go to teachexcel.com, search for it there, and you can download everything. So this tutorial is really going to serve as an introduction to the cells property. And the cells property replaces the range property, essentially. It can. Um, and it's going to allow you to select individual cells as well as to use variables in place of actual cell references. That's for a later tutorial, but that's what it's really going to help you do. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically just select individual cells using this property. So let's head over to, oh, let me show you the shortcuts we're going to use real quick. Probably know them by now. They are Alt F11 to open up the VBA window and Alt F8 to view the macro or macros. So let's go ahead and open up the VBA window right now and let's begin. So Alt F11, a screen like this will open up, select the workbook that you're currently working in, go to the insert menu and select module. Now let's go ahead and begin to create a simple macro. So the syntax for the uh, cells property is very, very easy or simple. Cells, open parentheses, and Excel is going to tell you, put the row index and the column index. So let's just do simple one comma one dot. And all I'm going to do for this tutorial is to select the cell. Now let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 to get back to the spreadsheet. Alt F8 to open up this window run the macro, we'll see the cursor move from cell C, C5 to A1. So run that, and there you go. So that's how you can use the cells property to select individual cells. So let's go back there, and I'm going to explain it a little bit more. Now the row and column index numbers are um, <clears throat> really just which position, uh, the row, or what number column, or what number row. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, you can see this is obviously row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. So to select row 5 using the cells property, you type 5. But the columns are also referred to using their number equivalents. So column A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4, you know, etc., etc. So to refer to the individual cells, you're going to have to know what number column they're in as well as what number row they're in. And this may seem um, tedious and really annoying to have to do. You know, why not just use the range property? Seems a lot easier. You just type in cell A5 or B5. Um, and you're going to use this for loops. Loops are where the um, <coughs> cells property are really going to come in handy because you want to put variables in there. And it's a lot easier to do that using the cells property. So if we wanted to select cell D8, let's go back, Alt F11, oops, and select cell D8. So I'm going to retype it again, cells. Now the row index, well, we want it in row 8. Column index, we would like it to be in the column D. What number is D? A, B, C, D. Column 4. Close parentheses dot select. Run the macro. Cell D8. So that's how you can select individual cells with the cells property and um, I'm going to show you one quick trick. Uh, it's easy to know what number column you know D or E or F is but it um, is a lot more annoying to figure out what number column say AO is. You know do you want to count by hand? No, it's really annoying. So how you do that is equal, this is a formula in Excel, column, open parentheses, select any column, let's select AO here, and hit enter. And it's going to tell you that that is column 41. Let's double click, move this reference to AQ, column AQ is column 43. So the formula for that is equals column and then a cell reference within the column where you'd like to figure out what number that is. So this is the syntax for it and it's going to give you a number, so 43. So let's select AQ8. 
Well, we know that it is now, the row index is going to be 8, column index 43. Let's go ahead and run this. And AQ8. So um, using the column formula is a very quick and easy way to get a column number. And that's how you use the cells property to um, select individual cells within Excel. In later tutorials, I'm going to be showing you a lot more, uh, um, <clears throat> much cooler things that you can actually do with the cells property. Um, but for now, that's about it. So if you'd like to get this workbook, head to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial. You can download it there. And that's it for this tutorial.